All right, um, welcome back to my channel. And uh, this time I'm going to do an unboxing of an engine. Um, this is a little bit different than what I've done before. But uh, this isn't something that is uh, not available on Amazon, which a lot of the stuff I do reviews on, I buy on Amazon. But anyways, uh, this is the engine. And yeah, it's one of those Harbor Freight specials. Uh, this was on sale. It was only, um, I don't know, $90. And uh, it's uh, seven horse, supposedly, um, which I guess I could be. Anyways, uh, we'll take a look here and see what's inside. Um, hopefully an engine. Yeah, look at there. Owner's manual, obviously. Um, it's going to go on this thing. Isn't that ugly? Well, anyways, what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll fold it all together, make sure everything works, get it running real well, and then, um, ooh, high altitude installation kit. I don't think I need that, not from where I'm at. It's like a really long spark plug wrench, which maybe it's real deep, I don't know. It's probably why they got it. Of course, the infamous packing. Now, this thing was $99, and... Um, it also, I could do a warranty on it, which I did. Even though I'm going to sell this, I, I did the warranty because I can tell whoever I buy to bring it back if there's any problems. And uh, the warranty that I got, it comes, she said it came with a one year warranty, the cashier, but I read online that they only came with a 90 day warranty. Um, but the nice thing about it is uh, for $19.99, so I have a total of $120 invested in this. Um, I can bring it back for two in two years for uh, two years time I should say if there's any problems whatsoever um, said bring it back and uh, we'll uh, exchange it outright she could we'll just get you another one so it'll be nice to tell whoever buys this thing um, that if their kids screw up the engine for the most part uh, I can just return it um, there's some warranty paperwork that I got I don't even know where it's at now oh here it goes um, Protection de Servicio Extendida. No, I can't read Spanish. I don't even know what that says. Extended Service Protection. Oh, I can read that. Um, anyways, they so said uh, keep your receipt. If not, uh, just use my name and number that uh, I used during the time of purchase. Um, and there's all the details, but it's it's interesting. Uh, we'll have to see. It'll be my first experience with any kind of warranty other than. Um, I just turned in one of these. Um, I bought four of these. One of them broke right away, and I brought it back in. I didn't have my receipt or anything. Oh, there we go. And uh, she said, "Yeah, sure, go grab another one. They're cheap. I don't use them that often. I don't do a lot of woodworking, but uh, they do the job." Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down for a second here and uh, get this out of the package and take a look at it, and we'll talk about first thoughts just looking at it. Alright, here we're back again. I got it out of the box. I'm going to take a look at the bottom because it looks like it's been thumped. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's been compressed. It's all cracked. Uh, I don't worry about this. It's probably just uh, machining oil, packaging oil. But I want to take a look at the bottom. Well, let's see here. Fill gas here. Add engine oil below. Wow. I don't really need that long spark plug wrench I gave you. Just a regular spark plug wrench with an extension. And let's see, the bolt pattern is just a four. And I think this is a three quarter inch, which it's slightly greased. They even gave you the key. That's kind of nice. There's a key on there. I don't know if you can see that. Definitely Honda remake. <laughs> uh, it looks so much like a Honda. It's not even funny. It's funny how that goes. Oh, silica. Uh, here's a trick. Um, get the silica that you get with your shoes and clothes and tools and whatever and uh, throw it in with your sensitive equipment um, I got a couple meters in here actually I don't know where my other meter is but I'll keep them dry sometimes moisture builds up in here uh, or put it in with your tools and wrenches okay so this is damaged oh it's horrible it's damaged look at that it's all wrinkled up Fuel cap, muffler, air filter, oil drain plug. Read the manual before you use. Uh, add oil to it. 
obviously. Um, assembly mount it uh, for electric start, which just don't have. Um, connect to a battery. Um, switch on, pull the corn, yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is a lot. I'll tell you what this looks like. Um, this actually don't look as much like a Honda as it does a Ryobi. I'm sorry, a, uh, uh, I'm going to say it here in a second, a Robin, Robin Subaru. This looks like a lot like a Robin Subaru. Um, let's go check out the Robin Subaru real quick and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, this looks a lot like the Robin Subaru. Um, there are some differences. A lot of them probably all the same. But, uh, you know, fuel shut off. Here's the choke. This one's got a, uh, a throttle here. Ooh, that's actually kind of stiff. Okay, I'll have to get rid of all that. It's, it's so it holds position. It's really stiff. There's a resistance piece here. Uh, exhaust, of course, overhead valve. Okay, let's look at this one. Overhead cam, see there. fuel down there. Boy, this looks a lot alike. It's probably a Honda though. It's probably a Honda knockoff. Um, but this is a really good engine. I I really like these. They got roller bearings. Uh, so does this one apparently. It's, got, it's supposed to have roller bearings in it. Um, but for the money, I don't know. This might be a pretty good deal. I'll have to check out and see how it all turns out. But uh, I'll uh, close this out right now and uh see how long it'll take for i got it bolted up and voila holy cow look at that yeah it got painted too um it's got yellow hubs and this was kind of chromish but then this wheel was on and off a few times so it uh it got marred up and the sprocket i painted yellow and looks like a clown car this is uh just paint that i had laying around that is um cup cadet yellow on the hubs and uh, on the sprocket and of course those hubs too same with the front um, this is some kind of a gold chrome that I've had for years uh, this is some kind of a chrome that I've had for years and this is Alice Chalmers orange also known as simplicity orange because uh, I have lots of cans of that this is some sort of a red this the brake pedal red means stop so um, that's some, some kind of a implement paint that I had. I don't even know what that was. And that's John Deere green. Uh, green means go. So that's gas pedal. Um, but anyways, uh, get it all together. Um, I had to get a new clutch for it because I couldn't find mine. Um, going back to the engine, which this whole review is about. This is slick. It has, if I can get it in here and let it focus, it'll take a couple minutes. Yeah, it looks like it's got it. It's got a... Um, it already had from the factory a uh, throttle uh, stop thing there. Not a throttle stop. Um, it basically has a nut with a hole in it um, and a screw to, to pinch the cable. So the only thing I had to do, I don't, uh, earlier in the video I mentioned how stiff the, the, this was here, um, which I think you can see. See how it was real stiff? Well, I made it real loose. And the way I did that is I took the friction washer out and just placed a, a regular washer in there. I'm, I'm t talking about this area here. There was a washer that was a friction washer. I got rid of it and that allowed that to move real freely. Um, and then of course the cable um, comes around here and this is just the brake cable from a, a 10 speed or something. And uh, then it just goes to this bar. It's kind of a cool setup. Anyways, back to the engine as I keep on getting sidetracked. Predator engines. Boy, it's a little dirty. Um, I had my kids out uh, test driving it. Um, let me try to find a rag real quick just to get some of this dust off. My stuff don't last very long. I have a guy that's coming to buy this tomorrow uh, in the morning. And uh, that's why I'm out here in the dark doing the video. Because I literally got done with it. Let my kids ride it in the yard. I posted it on our Buy, Sell, Try on Facebook buy sell trade on our Facebook uh, for a local area and I um, put it on Craigslist and pff, everything lit up because it uh, it was a good deal I always make sure people get a good deal um, of course the gas is on I'm gonna start it so you can hear it gas is on I'll go ahead and put the choke on I could have put a kill switch and I was going to I had intentions to um, there's the kill switch 
I just decided not to. It's just as easy to turn it off and on right here. That's on. Still the same tank of gas. It's probably still way near the top because I've hardly run it at all. Put oil in it. Choke's on. It's on. Let's go ahead and give it a little tug. See if I can drive. Wouldn't it be funny if it just took off and drove right off this ramp through the door? Be funny at least for the video, but. Uh. Turn the choke off. And not too bad. It's not, not loud at all. I mean, hell, there's the exhaust. Um, I was, I, like I said, I was kind of impressed by it. It was, uh, the steering made more noise than the engine. It's got good power. It's a good engine. I, I, I don't know about longevity, but I mean, as soon as I started it up, I, I couldn't believe how quiet it was. Um, and it runs real nice. Uh, I can't say anything bad about these engines. You guys need to experiment. I mean, for $100, uh, it's worth it. I mean, just to try. I don't think that I can really make it do anything since it's up on this stand, but let's see if we can get it to fall off. Woohoo! Almost. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's enough of that noise. Anyways, that's going to close out this video. I'm going to try to, hopefully, I've edited it down to where it's not quite as long as what I have normally going on but um going back this is the uh predator engine from uh, harbor freight it comes in this box it is a item number six nine seven three zero um these are all the details i'll scan through real slow that's what's on the box and you can pause the video at any time and look at this stuff but um, here's the dimensions of it, uh, at least the mounting dimensions. Again, I, you can pause the video if you want to check that out. I think it also is included um, with, uh, with the paperwork that comes with it. I, I, I just can't remember. But anyways, that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this, and uh, if you like it, go ahead and uh, subscribe, and I'll try to keep on putting on videos uh, that have something to do with reviews for the most part. I haven't decided what channel uh, to put this on, so uh, however you got here, I appreciate it, and uh, keep an eye out for other things that uh, I'll be posting reviews on and uh, projects. Um, I've got to get into my... Uh, project that I mentioned in the video earlier um, uh, my truck uh, the battery isolator so that uh, if you're interested in that go ahead and uh, I'll include a link to that uh, that video once it's all hooked up and ready to go but again I appreciate it thank you for watching